Today's recipe is super delicious and super healthy. It is from the streets of Nagpur. Hey you magical people, welcome to Salt and Sugar Saga and today we are making Nagpur style poha which is also called as Tari Poha. So for this recipe first I'm gonna fry peanuts. We're gonna fry them on medium heat and it will take around uh, 6 to 7 minutes. So the peanuts are done. Now in the same oil I'm gonna add mustard seeds and when the mustard seeds start crackling we'll add curry leaves. Followed by some finely chopped red chilies or green chilies. We'll saute them for a few seconds. Now we're gonna add onions. Onions are roughly chopped. We'll saute them. You don't have to uh, soften the onions, just we want to remove the rawness of the onions. Now we're gonna add bell peppers. We don't want to soften the veggies here, we just want to remove the rawness. So we'll saute them for a couple of minutes. Now it's time to add seasoning. So we'll start from salt, followed by red chilli powder, turmeric, cumin powder, salt the spices as well and add little water so that the spices won't burn. Now we'll add ginger paste. You can add grated ginger as well. So we'll saute the ginger and spices. Now it's time to add our washed poha. I have taken a thick variety of poha. Do not take thin variety of poha here otherwise your poha will be mushy. This is a thick variety of poha which I have washed under running water couple of times. And we'll add them in the veggies. So we'll add some lemon juice and sugar. Sugar will help you to pop all the flavors very nicely in the poha. So always add sugar. Now I've adjusted the salt. You can adjust the salt here and mix everything really well. The poha is done. We'll transfer the poha into a bowl. And we'll keep it aside and let's prepare our chickpea or kala chana. I have already pre-boiled my chickpeas. If you don't know how to do it, you can see the description box. There is a recipe, the link of the recipe of chickpea. You can click on the link and it will take you to the recipe of Kala Chana. So here I've taken some oil and I've added cumin seed followed by some finely chopped onion. So I'll saute the onions until they are nice golden brown. So now I'm gonna add ginger garlic paste and again saute them for a minute and so and it's time to add some finely chopped tomatoes followed by some salt. Now we'll cook this masala until the tomatoes are soft and mushy and it releases the oil. So it's a perfect time to add our black chickpeas or kala chana which I have already told you I have pre-boiled them and if you don't know how to do that you can click in the description box link. So we'll season it with some coriander powder and red chilli powder. Give it a good mix. And we'll cover it with the lid and let the spices cook for 7 to 8 minutes. So it seems good. Now we'll mash some chickpeas with the help of a masher. Once 
once it's done, we'll add some garam masala and a touch of freshness that is cilantro or coriander leaves. Now, the tari, that is the black chickpea or kala chana, is ready for the poha. We'll take it out in a bowl and it's time to prepare a plate of our tari poha. So here we have our poha, a tari and some chutneys. So firstly, I'm gonna put the poha in the plate. Then our tari, that is the black chickpeas. And now we are going to add some crunch of some raw um, onions and bell pepper. Some more flavors of our chutneys, that is a mint chutney. And tamarind chutney so mint chutney is a bit spicy and tamarind chutney is sweet so here in this you have all the sweet and spicy flavors as well i'm gonna add some nylon save and a crunch of fried peanuts so here the tari poha are ready so guys if you haven't yet please do subscribe my channel by clicking on the logo of salted sugar saga and do hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates until next time keep watching salted sugar saga take care bye bye